Hello everyone, it's Grandma Jackie. I'm back with another video. Um, take three. <laughs> Thank you so much for clicking and I hope you enjoy this video. Uh, I have a tiny bit of Walmart, just a tiny bit, um, some Marshalls and Hobby Lobby. I just want to show you real quick. Last two days, what day is this? Today is Sunday. Okay, so Friday, Saturday. Today's the third day, but of course, I think yesterday I only decorated for a couple hours, but um, today I pretty much went at it hard today, and I'm very tired, very tired. Um, I know whenever I put stuff up this year, I'm going to go by room because everything was mixed everywhere, and it was made it so much more difficult to be able to decorate so I know how I'm putting stuff up this year and organizing and using some Dollar Tree containers inside of tubs to organize as well so yeah so um, I'm just gonna go ahead and get started I think oh I also have like a, it's kind of like a vendor boutique store that I went to. I only get a couple of things from there too, but I did want to show you. Um, I already got a pair of pants and, and wore them, but uh, I also got what they call a shacket. Never had a shacket before, but I'm obsessed with um, flannel, so this is a shacket. Super soft, super nice. So this was um, $30 with, I think, 15% off, something like that. And then also, I got this. It's a cheese ball mix, and it's called the BLT Cheese Ball and Appetizer Mix. Yum. It was $4.99. I usually get one of some of this every time I go there which I don't go very often um, says you need eight ounces of cream cheese and four tablespoons of butter mm. and then you combine the mix with the cream cheese and butter refrigerate until firm and roll in topping Is this the topping this is the mix I don't know I'll figure it out but it looks good so I got that that was $4.99 then like in the back part of the store they have almost like used used items antique -y kind of and I picked up a couple of um, piano books um, I tried to teach myself piano. I have a very old piano that was given to me for free. It's totally out of tune. I tried to teach myself piano and then I lost interest because I had set up an appointment to start learning with a teacher and I had to break the appointment because of work and I got called in and I'm like, you know, I'm never going to have that extra time. I still want to try to teach myself. I learned a little bit and so anyways, I just picked up a couple of these little books. I don't, I think they were like 50 cents. But also, if you did not want to use them for that, you can use them in crafting. You can, you can take the um, pages and um, coffee or tea stain them and use it in crafting if you want to. These I'm actually going to try to utilize. And then this book, I, I love old books, uh, uh, old Bibles. Um, this book, I don't know if the camera is even going to do it justice. It's really old. I don't know if you can see that. And like, let me just show you on the sides. See how the book is? Look at this. Let 
And this book was, like it's gonna be so neat to just like read through and see how things have changed. It was copyrighted in 1929. Look at that. That is awesome. I love that. That was, a, that was an amazing find. Um, I want to say this book was $3. Somewhere in there. But anyways, that's all I got at that like boutique vendor craft market thing. Um, I, I am drinking coffee and it's 1030 at night. Because at midnight I have to start a clear liquid diet. So I've got my coffee there in my Buddy the Elf cup. And then I've got my water in this cup. <laughs> so, um, I'm going to do Marshalls because there's not a whole lot there either. I was really kind of disappointed. thought maybe there was another bag but maybe there's not I did get this little like a gift item comes with a little rolling pin and a uh, uh, not galvanized oh, I can't even think of the name of this and a little like blunt cake pin in there as well this was on the end of the clearance aisle and it was four dollars so I thought that was a cute little either a gift or kitchen gadget or something. I actually kind of collect these little rolling pins. Then I got this cookie press. Yeah. It was $3.99. And I'm going, I, I've never owned a cookie press before. This is my first one. So I'm going to make some sugar cookies that have indents on them. And then I hauled all that stuff from the Dollar Tree, the, the sugar crystals and everything. I'm set. I am set. Then I found these little earrings and I picked them up. They're $12.99. I thought they were really cute. Can't really do them little gingerbread justice in this camera, but anyways, and if I wanted to gift them. The top of this box is awesome. Look at that. Very cute. I got Lila some sockies. These are the non-slip socks which she really needed. Um, there's six pairs in here. It's $4.99. Look, it even comes with a little like head wrap. They're Christmas socks. How cute is that? With the little red and black buffalo check and the little Noskid thing. So there's a little heart on that one. Is it a heart? Yeah. No, it's a circle. I don't know what it is, but it's cute. And then the back. There's the heart. So stinking cute. And... Two to Forty Capelli, New York. I don't know what that means, but anyways, they're cute, and they were four ninety nine. Then of course I got candles. This one was six dollars and fifty cents, and it's called Ocean Mist. It was on clearance. They had another one there that was not clearance, and it was the same exact candle. Nice fresh scent. It's got three wicks. This one is the Sweet Apple and it was on clearance for $5. It's just a one wick, but it's the wood wick in the middle. Mm. Smells so good. This one was not on clearance, so is $12.99. Cinnamon Noel. Mm, smells so good. 
I couldn't pass this one up. It's also a three wig. If you get a chance, smell that one. Okay, and that was it for Marshalls. I have a tiny little bit of Walmart. I got this on the clearance aisle for $2 some wipes. I thought I'd put them back for next year. Mosquito wipes. It says there's 20 in here. Be something good to throw in the camper or to throw in your backpack when you go hiking. Then I got some Apple Barrel paint. The big bottle. I think it was $2.50. Um, but it's in the color of nutmeg. That's what you kind of need for you know, gingerbread houses and things and things. Got some more candles. I'm like burning candles right and left. This is salted caramel butterscotch, you guys. I don't know if you've smelled that one yet, but this one's pretty cool. Mm. And these are three wicks too, and these are just the mainstays. It's the three dollar, I can't remember, three dollars and something. And this one is Apple Pumpkin. Also a really good scent. Same thing, mainstay. Three wick. I picked up a couple cookie cutters. Gingerbread shape, a big one and a little one in it, and it was $2.44. I'm making gingerbread cookies this year. They might bomb, but I'm making them. This little ornament was $1.98. I saw it. It was so cute. It's going to go in my kitchen. My little gingerbread candy land thing. I liked it because it was like frosted. This is definitely going in my kitchen. It was $7.98. Mm-hmm. I haven't quite got the look. Santa's missing an eyeball. Hmm. Hmm. I think I can fix that. <laughs> I was like, I was looking to see if his little eyeball was in that container that I had him in, but it's not. So then I have Hobby Lobby, and I will show you um, what was not 50% off first. It was actually 30%. So don't ask me to calculate. <laughs> um, okay. These paint markers. This is a five-piece set, $10, um, but the 30% off. It was a, it has a, a black, a blue, a green, yellow, and red. But then I also wanted a brown, so I got this. And this was $2.99. This was just like a little starter set. And I think my husband found some fairly decent price for a whole set on eBay. So... I didn't have any paint markers to my name. And now I do. I found the small plastic candy canes at Hobby Lobby. Um, these were $12.99, of course, half off. There are, I don't know if it says how many is in here or not, 48 pieces. So, yeah. Some of these I might not um, ragtag them, but some I probably will. Sorry if I'm turning my head, but all the stuff is sitting behind me. These I got for my little trees in the kitchen. These little sugar cookie, delightful gingerbread things. Um, it would have been two fifty. Look. These are kind of like my bigger sugar cookie ornaments that I got in the kitchen. They are 
They're so cute. Then I picked up this little, I don't know what you call it, ornament hooks, miniature ornament hooks. There's a hundred in here. Of course, all the Christmas was half off, so this would have been a dollar. Then these little wooden Santa heads, but it's also little wooden um, ho hos in here. And it would have been, what, $1.75? Had I found a little gingerbread ones like this, I would have got it. But I looked and I couldn't find any. Then I seen this one of um, the reindeer, Santa Claus, and Mrs. Claus. And it would have been $1.50. So I said, sometimes I decorate with these buttons. I love them. They're so cute. Then I'm making the grandkids advent bags um, for December 1st through the 24th. And so I wanted to have little tags for the days and everything. So, yeah, I don't know what I'm doing with that because I've never done it before. So it might be kind of funny, but I'm going to do a video on that too. Um, I picked up these little Christmas party stickers, gift tags, and there's 30 in each one, but I wanted, you know, different ones. So I get this one and then this one. So there's little stickers I can put on the outside of the little bag. But then I, I wanted to um, maybe not use some as stickers and maybe use some as like put a little ribbon in it, poke a hole in it, put a ribbon in it and hang it. So I purchased this and it was on sale for 40% off. Um, so it was like I think $3.49 and it's just that little, it's like a punch. But it's got the little small. So it'd be perfect for these. I'm winging it, you guys. Then I found these little wood ornaments. Well, mini icons is what they're calling it. But you can make them into little ornaments. So um, $4.99, half off $2.50. Look. Isn't that cute? They even got the gingerbread. This is... You know, for things like this, this is the reason why I wanted the paint pens. Because I just thought it would be a lot easier than trying to actually paint with a paintbrush or use, like, Sharpies or whatever. So, yes. That. I got this little woodland creature to add to one of my Christmas trees. So, he was $3. I've purchased these little guys before. I love them. I've used them in wreaths and things like that, so... This little guy's going to go in the Christmas tree. Probably that little bitty tree right there. Because it looks real woodsy. It's got little pine cones on it and everything. But I'm not sure. Yeah, maybe. Super cute. I was lucky enough to find another cupcake. Actually, my husband found it for me. Because um, this stuff is sold out at Hobby Lobby. The ornament aisle is just like shrinking. I was shocked. Um, so this would have been three fifty. These things are cute and they're real looking. I had one that I purchased before that I did in a different haul already in the kitchen on a tear tray. And my husband went to pick it up and he was like, is this real? I'm like, no. But they're cute fate baits. Then, if they'd have had more of these, I would have got more of these, too. Um, these are, like, little fake sucker ornaments. And it's $2. They're beautiful. You cannot see how... There you go. Look. Love that. And then this one was $1.50. And it's a cake pop. It's a cake pop. These are definitely going in the kitchen. My decor. Then I got another um, star-shaped gingerbread cookie. Um, 
This is not one that I have. I have a bunch of different designs on some of the ones that I have. This was not one that I had already had, so I went ahead and picked it up. Uh -oh, there you go. There you can see the glitter. This was $2. It reminds me of an ice cream sandwich. <laughs> I love these things. I love Christmas. I love decorating for Christmas. Well, I'm wore out and tired from it, but once I get all decorated, it just makes, makes me happy to be at my own home. I'll put it that way. That's so cute. See, he's got a little bling on him, too. Then this, two fifty. Now I got one like this last year, but it was like a teal house. I have not found that in my tub yet, but I think it's in the bottom of a big tub that's in the kitchen now. So this little guy is gonna go in the kitchen, probably on a tear tray. Look, little peppermints on the back, and she's glittery too. Okay. Wait, I'm not done. Almost. Then I found these ornaments. I'm going to put these in the kitchen because they just remind me of like sugared peppermint. <laughs> They're shatterproof. They, let me see. They're different sizes. There is 10 at the 40 millimeters, six at the 50 millimeters, and three at the 70 milliliters, millimeters. So there's three of the great big ones. So cute. This was, oh, I guess I should tell you a price. Um, 6.50, I think, half price. Half price is 6.50. And then, last but not least, they had these mailing boxes there, and they were 50% off too. Look at how cute that is. It's, you know, it's not a very big mailing box, but look. I did not see these last year, so if they had them, I'm surprised. But on the inside, look. See, it's got the plaid on the inside. Oh, I'm excited. So anyways, that's my haul. Thank you guys so much for clicking and watching. If you would, please give this video a thumbs up. It really helps out my channel. If you haven't subscribed, think about subscribing. And I have a giveaway that's going to happen tomorrow with a Dollar Tree haul. So if you haven't watched my previous video, find me. Go back and watch it get in on on the giveaway um please stay safe take care of yourself and i will catch you later